appetite stream. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for making Naked very salty. Uh, no, thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you, everybody, for all these subscriptions. Uh, it means a lot. We're, we've definitely, I think we've passed uh, our email goal. So Nice. Woo! We're going to give away a pin or something. I don't yeah, know. Oh, my God. We'll give away something. We'll find something. Anyway, oh, we are actually starting on Smashville, so I don't know what went wrong. Uh, but this is where we're going to be for game one. Probably just a controller flub. All uh, right, here we go. So right off the bat, Venny has dominated the stage control. <laughs> How did that what? I don't know. Whiff. That Save that replay, Devin. I want to see that. That looked like some early Smash 4 Marth things where there's just a hole in the middle of your sword. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that was. That was very strange. Yeah, I mean, it, it is made of water, so maybe some funky stuff can happen. That's but, true. But here we go. We, we're moving on. 87 to 68. Fine. So, right, you're going to see, a lot, like I said, a lot of hops coming out from both players trying to space out their aerial attacks. Venya at this point would look for a neutral air to try to convert that into like a p potential back air or forward air, depending on which way he's facing. Yeah, we saw a lot of near forward air conversions uh, last set between these two. Side B, gonna catch Venya right there. As I mentioned, Venya does not shield a whole lot. You only see him shield sort of when he's between movements, and then he'll go right back to moving most of the time. If it's rare could, to see Venya sitting in shield. If he could, Zyvon, he would uninstall his R button. Absolutely. Or just map it to something else. Yeah. Have more jump buttons. There we go. Back Have here. more forward air buttons. Back here coming out from Mr. E to take away that first stock, but that down tilt's going to set him up. Nair is completely safe on shield. Mr. E tries to shield grab it there. And you'll notice that Venia will go off so deep every single time because he knows he'll get back to the stage safe and sound. And I think that's also a matchup dependent thing. We saw him not do that quite to the same level against Villager. You know, he would go off with a shadow sneak, but he would, he would recover quickly instead of just go, staying out there as long as possible since he knew there was an option that would kill him. You know what? Mr. E is bringing this back. You know, he may have lost the first set to Venia, but he is starting off this game strongly. Still living at 137%. Goes for the air dodge, but... That was really good. Yeah, it got Just set up the water completely. up there to stall him after the air dodge and punishes the end lag eventually with a back air. Gave him a little bath. Also, an interesting thing to note. Uh, so the end lag on directional air dodges is based on the distance you fall. So I wonder if Greninja's water does anything to that. Just an interesting thing that I, I don't know the answer to, but I'll have to look that up later. Check it out. All right, here we go. Mr. E's got him at 91. Or till trying to catch that ledge jump. But Venny is just swerving in and out, catching these dash attacks. He's a very slippery character to try to catch against. Like once, I said, once Venny gets moving, it's just so hard to catch him. That's what Light was talking about earlier when he beat double limited Light last week. Right. He, Light was commenting about how like he couldn't keep up with Venny. This is the first time he's ever felt like he got outsped. Yeah, I, you, know, you never see Light not be Flustered, fast enough. Yeah. Uh, that's sort of his thing. But yeah, Venya's so good at that, and this character is so good at that in this game. Fantastic but trade Mr. for Mystery. E with the trade, with the forward tilt there. Oh, Neutral trying to get that forward air afterwards. You see him just desperately trying to find the smash attack. I would have liked to see a uh, run up down smash there to cover either drift right there. I think that option would have covered more things there. Down I'm not used there. to Marth's air being a good move again. That's, that's a scary thing. I've been talking about that tonight. It is. That spike is active, dude. Also, uh, it has a lot of combo potential now since you can't tech grounded spikes. Good Counters. counter. I mean, that it was, is his turn. Honestly, that was a reaction. Yeah. I mean, he's playing an RPG, technically. He comes from a tactical one, so. Oh, yeah, a lot of counters coming out from Mystery. Recognizing that Venny is getting a little aggressive. Off stage, avoids the shuriken. Rolls right behind him, connects that grab, has him off stage again, 80%. That was a really good roll because Venny was sort of trying to force him to shield that ledge. Sort of, you know, he was he was getting up through the shuriken, and I think uh, Mystery e was supposed to, in Venya's mind, stay there and shield. He uh, rolls through, catches Venya right there. Venya does end up taking that stock, but an 80 point 80.7 percent deficit here. And Venya was definitely trying to get that up throw to kill. Maybe doesn't have the percents known as he did, as he did in the past game, but right, it is all still got now. the up air afterwards. So that's all you can, all you need. Okay. A little bit too far away to connect that fourth swing. Great DI from Venya, just backing away from it. Now he's got to be careful. If he gets one good read. Now what's actually interesting is that Mystery is not going for forward smash hardly ever in this game. Doesn't need it. Was what? that a down air? Wow. Down air almost killing off the side. Off the side. Up he had a shield. Not quite going to kill. Next one will probably kill yeah. if it's anywhere near, near ledge. Then he opted to go for the double jump to just try to get him away from the blast zone ever so slightly. But he's at maximum rage. 156%. Looking for this up air. E coming in with the neutral air himself. Down tilt. Try to send him up for the up smash. Almost not quite able to find him quite yet. He's Where's chasing the air dodge, him. though, and that will not quite take it. The oh, early up B, he might catch him. Good night. Nice. Yep. The early him. up B gets splashed right there by the water box or wind box or whatever it is. Upgrade oh, is up B right there. So Venya 
making the comeback in game one here, and he will go up 1-0. Now, what was actually smart right there was that Venia capitalized on Mystery not having his double jump. So that's exactly. why he went all in with that forward air. Either to force the air dodge or get caught by it. And the second Mystery was knocked away, there was no way for him to like survive that because he had to, commit, sure. to, he had to commit to the up B. And the second he committed to it, splashed away. Take a shower. That, that's strange because Mr. E literally had to lead that whole game. For sure. But once Venya gets rolling on one stock, it is so hard to stop him. Three, two, We're getting me. a return pick to Smashville here. I'm going to be real with you, Zyvon. Part of me was kind of hoping Mr. E would make it to Grand Finals and put up a fight against Jen. Because Mr. E's been, like, not doing so hot in the Xeno series as he's been doing in the past, especially, like, in the past game. And I want to see Mr. E come back into his, like, his golden days back in the Smash 4, you know? Of course. So this could be, like, his potential to try to get something moving. And right now, you know, he's got that little bit of stage pressure. So it's a good start going straight back to Smashville, huh? Okay, dash tag a little bit too greedy. Holding on to that shield to get the free shield grab afterwards. Okay, just going to hold shield through there, kind of just letting him get back on stage for free, but he's still playing insanely careful. Good back air out of shield right there. 90 to 8 so far. Mr. E looking very comfortable this first stock, but I think this is what we have to see from Marth. You know, I think Marth has, uh, you know, has a lot of good, like, ledge trapping and juggling, but it is very hard for Marth to just sort of hit you once and take your whole stock. Venya's a nut! That was insane. He went for a down air off stage. And he got it. He always does that. Yeah. It's just like, he's bonkers. It's it not, works. It's not worth the trade. He got, like, a little bit of damage off of it. If he whipped, he died. But did he die? Okay, but, like, that's, it was not, worth. that's not the point. Oh, I completely agree with you, but it's Venya, so it doesn't count. I get it. <laughs> Okay, forward throw, get him off stage, 149. Goes for the great tech. tech. The thing is, Venya knew up he throw. was going. He's dead. Not quite. No not going throw. for it yet. I Doesn't want to stale it since it's so much weaker. It's just, it's really not a great kill throw. So, I mean, at this he wants point, to make it'll sure. Kill. Yeah, at this point, it should kill. It could be decayed like crap if you get that kill. Come on, look, looking for that grab. Venya is very aware. That's why he's dancing around the shield this time. Venya is up there for hardest player to grab that I've ever seen. You know, when he does hit your shield, it's with something very safe. Like neutral air. A lot of like a neutral air, space forward air. Neutral air is just, like, safe on shield in general. I don't think it can be shield And it combos into a there kill, ladies and gentlemen. Venya bringing it back, even though he was losing that entire stock. But and now it's tied. Two to two. Okay, going to get that rapid jab to push him back off. Now, you see, notice that Venny will just charge with that shuriken just to, like, cover some space. Drags oh, him down. Jabs the wrong way. That was a jab lock setup right there from Venya. He would uh, have drag down up there. He's out of jumps. Venny is capitalizing. Great counter right there. And he goes for the shadow yeah. sneak off stage. Venya taking the second stock right there, and suddenly he's got a huge lead out of nowhere. Go up air. Shadow Sneak is very good in this game. It can catch a lot of people off guard. It it's can very combo. quick. You can't see the shadow off stage. Of course, that's not a new thing, but you can't see the shadow off stage. It's worth it, worth pointing out. He parries Brave the parry. shield breaker. Beautiful parry right there. Okay, looking for these down airs. Pushes them off stage. Potential edge guard gets a little bit too low. The problem is, Mystery is thinking Benny is going to be a little bit higher. But he drops so fast right. that it's hard to like react to his recovery. Well, Greninja just moves so fast in every direction. He's fast on the ground, moves pretty quickly. Uh, he's, he falls very fast, very high fall speed. He's able to just move from one point to another faster than pretty much anyone in a lot of situations. And he goes for the counter there. Kicks him down into the side. He kept putting E in the exact wow. same situation over and over with that counter. Managed to get the kill another time with it. And Venny is going to go on to try to get the run back against Jen. Now, these two have a little history in the past literally week. <laughs> Let's make moves. They fought for uh, right. 13th place, I believe it was. And, and Jen won that. Yeah, Jen won it, sending Venny at 13th at Let's Make Moves. We had to move on to beat JD, uh, GWJ or Big Dick Billy. Right. And